Here's a quick demonstration on how to set up the BNB2 system. So plug your program in, module in, and turn the ignition on. This is all done once the whole system is wired in. I then need to put it into third gear. Press the plus and the minus button together. Press the plus, press set. This will show your lever middle position, which is self-taught. The top number shows the actual position of the strain gauge, up and down, and the bottom number is what it's set at. You then need to set your cut start position. So press set and set again. So what you'll need to do is put some load on the back wheel with your hand and pull up for upshift or down if it's race shift. And what you'll feel is, as you pull the lever up, you won't be able to pull it. As long as you've got the back wheel loaded, pull the gear and you can't get into gear. It's very hard to get into gear. At the point where this is rest position, the top number is the rest position of the strain gauge right now. When you pull up with the back wheel loaded up, you'll need to take a note of the top number where it stops. So for this example, it's around 400. So we need to start the cut before that position. So we're going to set this at 440. So 40 points before the gearbox fully loaded. So press set to save this position. We now go into cut end. With this system, this should always be set at one. Press set. Now we're onto your blip on position. So this is where it triggers the blip. So again, you'll need to load the back wheel in third or fourth gear and push down until you feel resistance in the gear lever. So take a note of the top number where you feel the resistance in the gear lever. So for this example, it's around 700. Now with the blip, you need to set it a little bit earlier than the cut. So for this example, we're going to set it at 650. So 50 points before the gearbox is fully loaded. And then press set. So your cut time is the ignition cut time on your upshift. On, on bytes this should be set around 60 to 70 milliseconds, sometimes lower. So now we have ramp time. This is the time after the ignition cut that it will smooth the ignition back on rather than turn it on straight away. So press set and you'll have wet mode and dry mode. Press plus or minus to change. Or select dry mode first so press set then plus and gear one and this is set at 30 gear two at 20 gear three at 10 gear four at one and the rest are one so no ramp you press set until you get to back and then you press the plus button and you're into wet mode so these times should be set slightly longer so press set then plus in gear one so this will show you the dry time at first so press plus or minus and it will give you the actual wet ramp time this is just to give you a comparison so one is set at 80 two is set at 70 three at 60 four at 50 40 30 20 and again that is a good base setting So now we have blip time. On motorbikes, 60 milliseconds is usually perfect, depending on your throttle opening, but this can be changeable up and down, depending on how, how you feel. Press set. Now off time is the time it will not allow another cut or blip. So it will have to wait 100 milliseconds before it will perform another cut or blip. Again, this is a good base setting. Press set cut off RPM so you set this to any RPM above your tick over so for example 2000 RPM 
and if the RPM is below that it will not perform a cut. And the same for your blip off is the same principle. So you set it around 2000, if the RPMs are below 2000 it will not blip. This is just to stop it cutting or blipping when you're idling. Now you have your RPM pulse, press set. Uh, with the engine running you can change this so that the RPM readout in the main menu matches the RPM of the bike. So you can make it more or less, but just change this until it, the, this reads the same RPM as the bike is running at. So press set. Number of gears, six in general, but again this is changeable. Neutral, where is your neutral? Is it between first and second as we have on most motorbikes? Or is it neutral one two as it, as you have in a in a car gearbox? So one neutral two for this install. Shift mode. This must be set at not CLP for the BMB2 system. Ignition, normal mode or inverted, unless you're cutting through an ECU, it will always be set at normal. Digital input, this can be set to neutral switch or clutch switch, depending if you have it wired into either of those switches. This is the green and yellow wire. Um, in this install, we don't have one selected, so it's set at not used. If you do not have this wire connected, it must be set at not used. If you have it wired, it must be set to either neutral switch or clutch switch. Test out, this is just to test whether your cut or your blip is working. So plus, to when your bike is running, you'll be able to hear the engine cut. And press minus for a blip. Do not hold this on for longer than this as you'll burn out the solenoid or you'll blow the fuse and press set and once you've finished all your adjustments press set on run and there you have it